TV is on your side, digging into some suspicious political texts that are popping up on phones. It says someone at your address may not have voted. In this important election season, we dug into if those texts are true, where they're coming from, and where that link sends you. WBTV's Jason Puckett is on your side, fact-checking what's popping up on your phone. Well, the message itself may seem like others that we're getting dozens of around election time, where they take your publicly available information like your name, address, and phone number and send you info on the election. But it's the timing of these ones popping up that had some confusion. Here's what they look like. Saying that a voter at your address may not have voted. It says vote here with a link. Well, some voters received these messages just hours after they actually cast their ballots, leading to confusion about whether their votes had actually been counted correctly. Now, the North Carolina State Board of Elections put out a statement saying they're seeing these kinds of texts across the state. And here in Mecklenburg County, the Board of Elections has been getting a lot of questions. We truly believe they were meant to be helpful, but they have created a lot of confusion only because in certain households, individuals had just walked out of polling places and they get a message. So then the question was, did my vote count? So absolutely, if you watched your vote go into a tabulator, you watched your vote being counted. Coming up at six, we're taking a deeper look at why some believe these messages may have been intended to be helpful and talking with those who say it left them confused and worried their votes may not have counted. That'll be up here at six for now here at the Board of Elections. I'm Jason Puckett, WBTV on your side. Jason, thank you. And you know it, we're on the home stretch. WBTV is your source for continuing coverage of campaign 2024. We're bringing you updates every day on the race for the White House. You can also go to WBTV.com for a full campaign guide, which includes some of our fact check reports.